I am entirely insane. Why is that? Because I am heading to Milledgeville right now um, on break at work. I, I'm heading there just on a whim. I am in to I am totally insane. All right, so we are about to be on. All right, so we are on Culver Kid Parkway or something like that. Let me stop this. Let me turn this down. Copyright, please don't get me. We're going to be turning on to West Campus Drive shortly. In just a minute or two. Coming up is Magnolia Park Apartments. This should be it coming up here on the left. Hopefully they didn't get smart and require like student IT to get in now. <laughs> they were smart probably, but. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. You see, when I was here, what you're about to see wasn't here yet. This wasn't here. This is new. <laughs> ah, but they still have the old shuttles. They still have the shuttles. Yes. <laughs> there's the well, there's a shuttle right there. There's a the wellness center up ahead. We're going to go to where my old apartment is. I'm assuming it's still standing. It better be. All right. Turn to the right. made it real nice. A lot of signs up now. Telling you where each building, what, bu what each building is. Oh, airborne. You can still go airborne in there, here. <laughs> uh, the tennis ball courts are still there. Pretty sure the pool's still here, but I really don't want to get out and go look. My, my chance, because chances are there's no one out there. Nobody in their right mind is swimming right now. Unless they're in the wellness center. But you need a student ID to get there. All right, we're turning right. And we're coming up on building one. Now, up in there, that is my old apartment. Apartment 1308. Very fond memories of that place. Um, I mean, it was, it was a defining time in my, in adulthood. I got to do so many great things and um, experience so much. I experienced, I learned that I should never drink alcohol again. <laughs> I was in that part, I was in the apartment. Um, a bunch of different things I learned. And from going to class as well. I, I learned a lot of things in classes, but yeah. All right. And it was so hard to leave this place because I love Milledgeville. It was a great place to be. Actually, I'm gonna try and get a closer look at the apartment. See if I can do that. Okay, that, that right there. Alright. That, alright, let me Try and get my bearings. Okay. All right. Right there. That is the. That was the living room window. And that. And let's see. I think on the other side of that window there, down in the 
little part that you can't see. That was that was the um, that was where my room was. All right, I had to get out of here because <laughs> I don't have a parking permit and. I was getting weird looks, and I think a security guard was about to come and ask me, Sir, what are you doing? I'm just filming for YouTube, no worries. <laughs> All right. Wow. Uh, they're using the tennis ball courts for baseball practice, I see. Nice. Oh, jeez. I remember there would be times I would be out here and I would hear a loud buzzer and that would be the um, the high school over across the way because there is a high school like right near here like the other side of those trees are is a high school and I would hear the bell from there from my apartment I would hear the bell every day that school was in session there. All right, so now that we got that done, we're now gonna go, let, let's, you know what? Let's go by campus. Let's see what's new on campus. I wonder, <laughs> call me crazy, but I wonder. You no, know, there was a, um, there's a story about behind that sign, and I'm gonna not, I'm probably not gonna do it like that, but yeah, yeah, uh, looks like it. Um, I decided, or uh, uh, one day after a bit major storm, there was uh, some of the letters gone, and it read, Orgy State College and University. Um, I kid you not. I wish I was making that up, but I'm not. I could have parked in the visitor center, but I didn't want to be too much of a prick. I'm only here for about a, for about well, 15 more minutes. So let's see. There's the campus uh, bookshop theater, Velvet Elvis, where I used to go for lunch every day. I'm gonna turn down here. I think I'm gonna skip out on campus, unfortunately, get it going on campus, and try and find some lunch, which is the main reason why I came down here. Metropolis Cafe. Been there, I think, twice. It was meh. Okay, one the best. Certainly one the worst. 100th anniversary, 1911 to 2011, 100th anniversary for a funeral home. We've been burying your dead people for 100 years. Let's get a, isn't that amazing? Not really. I just find it, I just find it weird. 100th anniversary for a funeral home. How sad is that, to be honest? Come on now. All right. Seems like I'm getting every red light here in Milledgeville. And uh, looks like I might need to go to the subway near work. Because I only got about 15 minutes until I got to be heading back to work. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to head back and go to the subway near work. So, uh, but anyways, you know, it was, it was a nice, you know, 10, 15 minute visit. <laughs> Got to see some things that I haven't seen in about three years. The last time I was in Milledgeville for an, ex it was, I think 2015. No, I think it was 2014, maybe, maybe 2015. I think it was 2014 and um, I messed up my back playing uh, capture the flag 
which was stupid for me to do. And, um, yeah, it was captured flag. But anyways, um, I need to try and get out of this traffic jam and head back. So, hasta la vista, Milledgeville. It's been fun. I'll try and come back for another visit. But now it's time to go back.